<laughs> Hello, I am down at the beach treasure hunting. You never know what you're gonna find at the beach. Everybody knows that, it's a scientific fact. Also, I lost my car keys. Uh, also, this is just a broom, so it's probably not gonna go that well, but you never know. Oh, what? Yes, treasure. I told you there's treasure down here. I mean, I don't know what it is, and it looks kind of science-y. I should probably ask a scientist. Oh, I should go to the Curtin University School of Science to find out what this is. I'll head there as soon as I can find my keys. The world as we know it wouldn't even exist without science. From improving the world we live in through to advising business and government, there are no barriers to what you can do with a science degree. And with a wide range of science courses, Curtin University can provide you with the knowledge, the skills and the industry know-how to get you into all kinds of great jobs. Bill. Oh, Bill, I got you. Hands, nice to meet you. Hi, pleased to meet you. Yeah, hey, look, I found this down at the beach. I'm told you can help me out. What is it? That looks to me like an animal tracker. You've got a battery, you've got a camera, and you've got a GPS here so that you can track this animal. You put this on an animal, you find out where it's going and what it's doing. And how would you know that? I'm a terrestrial ecologist, so what I do is I study animals out in the field, I look at their behavior, and I try and find out what they're doing. Wow, and you're a lecturer here at Curtin University am, yes. in terrestrial ecology. Yes. What sort of science courses are on offer? Well, at Curtin, you can either take a, a terrestrial stream or marine stream, but what you can do is you can study all aspects of marine biology, all aspects of terrestrial ecology. We look at ecology, animal physiology, botany, plant physiology, animal behavior. Wow, so you do whatever you want, basically. It's a nice, broad subject. Right. And what sort of person is going to love being a scientist? Scientists tend to be dedicated, and they t people who go into science tend to know they're going to be scientists from the word go. And if they, need, if they want to be a scientist, they should go for it, and they should do it. What sort of animal does that go on, do you reckon? This looks like it would be on a large animal, and if you found it down on the beach, I would imagine it's probably going to be on a large marine animal, so possibly a seal or something like that. So maybe you need to go and talk to a marine biologist who can give you more information. That's where I'm off. Let's narrow it down. It's a mystery. Thank you so Great. much. It's a pleasure. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Oh, Chandra, I found you. How are you, Hans? <laughs> Hans, great to meet you. I get tired of those running around. Hey, I found this at the beach today, and I've just had a word with Bill from Curtin yeah. University. He tells me it might be a seal tag. What do you reckon? Yeah, so this is actually a satellite tag that you just found here. Basically, you get really fine scale information about their movement through the water and where they go. So this is just a gold mine, what you oh, just found. We'll yeah. Give it back, it's mine, it's precious. Yeah. So, how do you know that? What do you do? I'm a scientist, I'm a biologist, and I work with marine mammals. So, if I'm interested in maybe getting into your line of work, what do I have to do? So to get a strong foundation in science, a Bachelor's of Science is a great way to start. And after that, you can carry your research anywhere you like. You can join industry working as a researcher or government, and of course, with universities as academics. I kind of want to see what's in there. I want to find out about all of the stuff that it collects. <laughs> yeah. can, do you have a friend that I can talk to? Definitely. So Adrian actually is a fantastic person to talk to about that. He'll receive all the data from these and he'll tell you exactly what information you can get. Well, I'm going to go have a chat to Adrian. Thank you so much for talking me through Great. it. Good luck with that. See ya. Oh, Adrian, found you. Hands, nice to meet you. G'day, Hands. Hey, I've been getting information about this thing all day. Apparently, it is a seal tracker, and I'm told you can help. What is it that you do? I'm a statistician, and I haven't seen one of those before, but I might have analysed the data that would come from one of those. Okay, so we stick this on a seal, it swims around, gets all sort of in information, and then you get that information off and make it usable. Yeah, absolutely. The biologists might want to understand the movements or growth, or maybe even how many seals are actually out there. I, as a statistician, will determine the best way to analyse that data to give the biologists the answers they need. So how did you get into this career in the first place? When I finished high school, I decided rather than waste time, I'd go to Curtin University and study maths for a year. But I enjoyed myself there so much that I eventually, so many years later, actually finished my PhD. Dr. Adrian. Absolutely. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much for answering my questions. I think the only thing to do with this now is to take it back to the beach. Absolutely. Cheers, mate. Catch your hands. See ya. Well, how about that? Through the combined power of Curtin University Sciences, we found out that this is a seal tracker, and that is super interesting and pretty expensive as well. But now the only thing to do, the only right thing to do, is to release it into the wild. Be safe, be well. Mm. Hey, if this has piqued your interest and you're keen on getting a career started in science, then you've got to get more information. You know what to do, just Google Curtin Science. Could not be easier, and good luck. Actually, I will, that is littering, I will pick that up. Also, it's quite expensive. <laughs> <laughs>